This room is so much bigger than it was last year. She's wonderful. Oh, she's a boudoir. We have uh, the March subscription box, the Shamrock Shimmer, which is an ode to our princess who is very much in our thoughts and prayers right now for healing our wonderful uh, Catherine, Princess of Wales. I decided to spend a little bit of my money today. You guys, I can finally take a shower for the first time. <laughs> I got some soap. These are priced really, really good. They're priced free. <laughs> and there's no strings attached. You can have them. We gotta get you back on our channel sometime. Yeah, hopefully sometime soon. Yeah. Welcome, we have just arrived at the Toy and Doll Super Show. It is crazy, there are so, Dana Kane, who is the, the, the head honcho here, has done such a good job with her entire team getting everything ready and organized, and we're here. So, Christopher is madly uh, working back here. Paul is bringing in his uh, American Girl dolls. Paul is setting up a little table too, which is gonna be so fun for him. And we're gonna bring you behind the scenes of this amazing show and all of the fun we're gonna have out here in Denver, Colorado. So stick around because we're gonna bring you a lot of dolly fun and hang out with us for the day here at the doll show. Still in full setup swing. Christopher dashed out of the house. He didn't eat any breakfast. I ate a protein shake that had 50 grams of protein, so I should be pretty good for a while. I've been on a high protein kick lately. I can give you a sneak peek into some of the incredible things that are going to be here. Look at this booth right here. Oh my gosh, the plat, the Patty Play Pals, all the vintage dolls. She's wonderful. Oh, she's a boudoir. Hi, hi. Hey, hi, oh hi. Hi. Last year I think I didn't I buy a you did. I did. Yes. Yes, you bought the toner doll. And I bought a, a a a toner and a um uh, a, I think it was a portrait, a uh, second series Jamal or something. It was, it was something like yeah. that. Yeah. The head was broken. Great booth. Yes, the head was broken, so it was a good, good deal. Yeah. Great booth. I still have that doll, actually. So good. So let me give a nice sneak peek. So this booth always has wonderful vintage and antique things. I'm sorry, what is the name of your booth? Snowdrift Antique. Snowdrift Antique. So, oh, we got some Barbies. Good. Well, we're going to come back when you guys are fully set up so I can uh, do some shopping. Sometimes when I have a camera, like, you know, I don't know how people are gonna react, but most people are really good about it. If you're a business, it's very good promotion to be on a YouTube channel that has over 50,000 followers, which I am uh, so proud of. We hit 50,000 a couple weeks ago. My business would not be here if I did not embrace social media. I am off to find Christopher some breakfast, maybe some snacks to get us through the day. And I brought water, but Christopher didn't bring anything. So I actually was not successful finding breakfast, but I know that there's gonna be some sort of vending and something set up here for when the show opens. So we'll wait for that. We're just gonna meander back to our booth to see how uh, the progress Christopher and Paul have made. And, and then we're gonna do some shopping. breakfast sandwich and he's gonna have that and then now we're setting up so I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're doing in our booth right here we have some uh, Paul is very excited we're gonna merchandise this a little bit better but he brought some of his American Girl dolls and then we have the graces we have a very, very, very limited number of graces. I saved them back for the show. Very rare, they are completely sold out online. We have our Chasing Rainbows, beautiful. And then Nima, I don't know, she might need to come out of the box, but she is still original in the box, but she looks good, our Afro Nima, so gorge. And then we also have uh, examples of our subscription boxes because we are promoting virtual doll convention here. So you can see with what we're doing, we have uh, the March subscription box, the Shamrock Shimmer, which is an ode to our princess who is very much in our thoughts and prayers right now for healing our wonderful uh, Catherine, Princess of Wales. And um, I just can't look at her clothes without getting a little emotional. But that's another, that's another day, but um, she's very much in our prayers and thoughts. But this is, uh, this is really fun. We found this amazing Desert Patrol attack Jeep up in the attic. My mom has been saving this for a long time. 
Uh, my mom is in heaven right now, but she has been saving this up in the attic and I thought it would be super fun to bring it here. And it's got everything. All the guys have been looking at this. It is so cool. So we have that and then we have our, just showing what we do with our paper dolls and um, a couple of our banner outfits, which is our equestrian outfit we are so incredibly proud of and yachting, which we are so incredibly proud of. Is it good at least? <laughs> It is good. It is good, okay. The breakfast sandwich was $16, 18 with a tip. It was it was a grab and go, um, which I thought was kind of a lot, but at least it tastes really good. So as long as it tastes good, we're good. And then we've just brought some fun. This is Barbie's time right now. This is all stock that was in our attic. We need to, there we go. A little bit of dust on it. It was in boxes in our attic, but it's a great time to bring it out with the Barbie movie and everything that is just so popular right now. And then we have some rare outfits, which Christopher has priced right here. We're gonna have to kind of keep an eye on. Um, Solo in the Spotlight, the nighty one. I don't know, just some fun things. So this is, and we price things just like really well, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. This is the kind of show where we just wanna sell stuff and have fun. We made some lots where you can get four dolls, four dolls for $40. Look, this whole bag of dolls for $50. They all have problems. They all need help and renovation and restoration. And what better way to do it? You know, 60 bucks, you get all three of these dolls. So it's, it's fun. If I was looking to restore or I had some skills in that or I wanted to start doing that, this is what I would do. You buy stuff for good deals and you make it over and you turn a $60 bag of dolls into $1 is $60. And then um, that's how it's done. We are across the way from a Barbie booth. So that is very exciting. I'll have to do some shopping. I yeah, we're going to do some around. shopping. Cute. Oh, I have always. What is this? this? So they used to have like toiletries for Barbie back in the day. This is shower with Barbie. It's a mitt. Um, sometimes they offer like soaps and things. I'll have to use my other hand to get that open, but that's very cute. Okay, so the benefit of being a exhibitor here at the show is that we get to be in while it's setting up. So we get to go around and look for wonderful things while this show is setting up. So we are gonna be doing that. We are across from Jeannie Holtzman, who is the voice of Peppermint Patty. That is so cool. So we're going to have to check that out um, in depth, but um, I love that. That is so cool. We'll be back. Let's go shopping. Okay, all we're seeing on the screen is your sandwich. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at this American girl. Now, what about her lips? Uh, oh, she's she's she needs she's got a bum hip. And a, a, a bum hip. Oh, okay. Six American girls. Yeah, that I can see so far that I spot. Always been a Barbie girl. Right? Always been a Barbie girl. I'm hoping for something rare. Of course, I want to find like a number one Barbie. That's what I want to find. Barbie stuff. Oh, this is a blog. Okay, it's a fabulous blog. So check out the blog, Barbie's all the way down. Look at this, she's got some cross stitch that says, I am Knuff. That is so fun. And then what was the name of your shop? I don't have one. I just from home. From home. Whatever. I love I'm that. I'm Kathy Armstrong. So Ka yeah. Kathy Armstrong. I did antiques for 20 That's years. That's from home. Then, you know. But man, look at this. Do okay. The dolly thing. This is fun. Doing the dolly thing's fun. I, I actually lost. She's got a great collection of vintage hard plastics, composition dolls. They all need a little TLC, but if you can do the TLC, these are going to look so great. Tons of potential. So I am just doing the camera slow. Sometimes it goes a little fast and you don't get to see everything. She's busy setting up over there. She said some really, really sweet things about my mom before I turned on the camera. So that that means a lot to me. It's coming up on my mom's birthday is April 1st and she passed away on April 23rd and it'll be four years. And sometimes I'm just, I thought, I don't know, for, for a period there, I thought the doll stuff just all kind of went away with her 
uh, it just felt like that for a pinch, but I'm just so thankful and I know more than anything she'd be so glad that we are here still doing dolls, doing this. This is what I know. This is what I grew up doing. This is what my mom taught me to do. It's what she trained me to do. You know, I've been training for this my whole life and now I would have preferred not to have the training wheels off when my mom passed, but she did train me to be able to cycle that bike without her guidance and her help. So it's, um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to have you too as my friend and our friend at the doll shop and all of our wonderful contributors and the people that I bring to your world, through my world, it's all just such a blessing. I consider myself blessed every day. When people say, how are you? Sometimes I don't even say, oh, I'm good. I say, I am blessed because I am blessed. So I know that Tom Moss Kish is around here somewhere. So I'm gonna find him. There he is. He's still setting up. All right, so Tomas, our wonderful Tomas Kish, we are doing a collaboration well, we, we're not doing anything. Uh, Tomas and Helen are making a beautiful doll in collaboration with Ruby Red Galleria, Ruby Red Dolls. They're making a beautiful doll that is exclusive to Virtual Doll Convention. Tomas, in fact, you just sent the sculpt off the other day to the factory in China. So Helen's been working really hard. This is something we haven't even talked about. It's going to be uh, later this year, but it's gonna be great because Helen is also the souvenir artist for the, for the UFDC convention this summer. A lot of things are coming from Helen Kish. It's very exciting and I, we're very glad to have a collaboration. So this is my video and I have to talk about that because that is a big deal and it's been something I've been wanting to uh, share with you. So not a shameless plug, very proud to plug that. This is good. So Tomas just made a joke that Helen doesn't like the way he sets up the booth. We're gonna bring Christopher over here to give it a little, give it the old little razzle dazzle. We're gonna do that. Does that sound good, Tomas? Yes, thank you. Okay, you so um, there's some really, really, really sweet dolls here though. And uh, we'll we'll come over and we'll give it the, give it the old razzle dazzle. Here's some, some good, good deals here. Wow, these are good deals. $100 for Olivia's with wigs and $80 without wigs. Yeah, those are good deals. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do the old razzle dazzle. Okay, we brought in the special forces. Christopher <laughs> Christopher is here and uh, he's gonna he's gonna give it a razzle dazzle. So that'll be good. Tomas, you don't even have to worry. I don't worry. Yeah, do Tomas doesn't do worry. worry. Yeah, does, no. Do I look worried? No, he doesn't Rachel look, you don't look worried. <laughs> Christopher is here for yeah. the rescue. I mean, why would I worry? Why would you? There's no reason. to give them the, the before and after. So um, we didn't do a ton, but it looks super cute now. And the show opens in 10 minutes. So here we go with our wonderful Helen and Tomas Kish from Kish & Company, which is a Colorado company. We love that. All right, Tomas, we'll visit you a little bit later. So the show opens for the early bird shoppers in 10 minutes. I'll turn the camera around so you can walk with us. We have to put cookies out. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it a little bit earlier, but now it's full, full, full. All right, so let's go look at the thing that Christopher needs to buy. The soap, the loofah. It's a, it's a mitt with powdered soap, it's so cute. I always love like licensed products that are for Barbie, but not for Barbie the doll. I just think like, you know, people things you can use. People things. Yeah, so it was a exciting. it was for a person to use. Yeah, it's it's a soap for a you know a child. But like all of the other licensed materials, like her her guitar and all of that sort of stuff, I love. And I think he actually set it aside for this. Grab it all here. What a great boot! I know it's got great stuff. Good stuff. Lots of fun stuff. Oh my gosh, a Western Winkin' Barbie. Yeah, love her. Always spooky. Round the uh, we, I, do we need her? I mean, you are welcome to grab her. They are so much fun. Cute little kittle case. All 
All right, the show has opened. Paul, let's see, can you uh, show us what you got? Paul got some action. No, they're not action figures. What are they called? They're figures. Figures, okay. <laughs> yeah, from different, from different animes. They're figures. All right, yeah. let's, show me your favorite one. She's the smallest, but it's probably her. She's cool. What is her name? I, I can't think of it right off. Oh. <laughs> I'm not done with the series yet. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's still researching. So we're, we're right by the entrance, which is really cool. Let me show you. There's the entrance right there. Here's Christopher uh, chatting up our virtual doll convention stuff. Our wonderful, uh, one of our favorite couples right over here. Kendra's, Kendra's really digging deep in that bag. And uh, we've, you know, we've got some fun stuff and we're giving away cookies and it's a lot of fun. So it's going good. We got to do some work. All right, there are some good deals here. This is Melissa. Melissa, do you have a booth at the Brass Armadillo or you I work do. there? I do, I have a showcase. Melissa has a showcase at the Brass Armadillo, which is a great antique mall in Colorado, if you are in Denver, Colorado. But she found a jean doll for $20. But she's not for sale. She's not for she's sale. She's my jean doll. Yes. Melissa has just started on the virtual doll convention train. Oh. She's drank the water. She's, <laughs> she's. <laughs> and Rachel won't let me buy any of her display props. I just, well, those little, look at those Valentine shoes. I know, the Valentine shoes. Those, that's our only pair. That's the only ones we have. See, yeah. and I can't believe, do you still have Nima left or is she already gone? No, Nima's for sale. Nima's, Nima's for sale. Is. But She's I'm glad wonderful. you found a jean doll. Absolutely, it's a blast. Melissa bought her first uh, Tonner doll from us in January. She bought Chasing Rainbows. So. Yep, so it's never too late. It's never too never late. Too late. Well, you're, you're, it's a blast. It's a blast, all right. You Thank you for fun. sharing. So that's fun. That's fun. It's fun to see people enjoying their dolls, getting good deals, and just out having a really good time, which is what is happening today. All right, so the main show just opened. The 11 o'clock is when everybody comes in. It's packed. Again, Dana Kane did such a great job promoting this and her team. There's so many people here, which is so great when you're doing a show. But Christopher has already blew his budget. <laughs> Not altogether. Not altogether. Um, I'm saving some of my paycheck today. Actually, I didn't want to spend any money if I could help it. Um, I thought, unless there's something I really want, something that's really fun, I'm not going to spend any money. And there were a couple of good pieces. So I, I decided to spend a little bit of my money today. You guys, I can finally take a shower for the first time. <laughs> I got some soap. One of my favorite things about like Barbie collectible pieces are the licensed um, products that were not actually for Barbie the doll. And so this is a shower mitt with the original soap. It's got uh, powder soap inside, which is so oh my gosh. cute. Um, there were lots of cosmetic sets, and this actually features multiple of the soap packets. And then you have this really adorable, very <laughs> sort of rusty, oh, dusty... Are you going to clean it? Mud. No, of course not. I mean, I'm never going to use it. But I think this is such a fabulous piece just to display. And um, all of the, like, Barbie nail polish, Barbie lipsticks, Barbie eyeshadows, Barbie, like, bars of soap are some of my favorite pieces to find. Um, so this I was very excited about. It was a great price. And then this I actually featured in the Valentine's Day Barbie video. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. Treat yourself. Um, I love the 1600 collection fashions, as does every Barbie collector. And this is a great, great piece. It has the petticoat underneath, which the other name for this outfit does not feature, so it's a harder piece to find. Um, this is known both as Fabulous Fashion and Magnificence, but the difference is this outfit, Magnificence, comes with the petticoat where the other one does not. Um, so that's a fun little detail, and it's in really nice shape, so I figure, what the hell? I'm yeah, what the here. hell? You know, we're here. It's very hard to go to a show and it's something like this and not buy anything. Kendra found a... Uh, Kendra, we're on YouTube. Hi, hey, yes, Kendra's one of you our wonderful... Here. Yes. <laughs> but let's look at your... Um, she found an Ellen Wild. My Telltale scored. Heart. I scored. You take her out. So I have the Grand that's Despair that's too. I think the second one with the blonde Oh, hair. yeah, that's good. And so this is going to go really nicely. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. She's going to go so well with our event later this year. Which one? It's a secret. It is a secret. It's a secret event. <laughs> but look. Oh, beautiful. Someone I was saw just this telling I, me. And I saw this and I thought of your event. I was like. It's perfect. Beautiful. You need to bring her and get her signed by Robert. Yes, and I was like, Robert can sign her. Robert can sign her. We are doing an event um, later this year in October. That's what we can say. I'm pretty sure and it she's is never Halloween been thing. removed because, I mean, everything Oh, no, like she's a, brand new. Yeah, she's perfect. New. Congratulations. Oh, no, oh she's you. perfect. Yeah, so you heard it first. 
We are doing an event in October and it is Halloween themed. We have not set a date yet, but Robert is on fire. He calls, he emails, he is, he's excited, he's, he's motivated, you know? And when Robert Tonner's motivated, those samples, they're just, they're just coming. So it's very exciting, very exciting. I hope that you can actually hear me because it is so busy in here, but um, it's been really fun. So many people have been coming up and saying, hey, which we absolutely love to get pictures and say hello to everybody. We've been selling some things. Paul just sold his first doll. Paul, what was it like to sell your first doll? New experience for me. New experience, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, it was. it's fun. And uh, it was to a little girl who's really enjoyed having the doll and is playing with it. So that's really cute. That's really good. You know, it just makes you feel good, but oh my gosh, the amount of people, it's wild. You guys, a very famous person is here and on our YouTube channel. It's Alton. Oh, I'm so famous. Alton, you are. How are you doing? I'm good. How you are you? Fun? Yeah, there's lots of fun things. What have you been looking for? Um, Madame Alexander dolls, the older ones. Those are fun. And, uh, Barbie clothes, probably. Barbie so. clothes? Yeah. And G.I. Joe's, G.I. Joe's are good too. G.I. Joe's are good, yeah. We, this, yeah. Is a, this is a really good one. This is the Desert Fighter, yeah. fully equipped, all the stuff. Apparently it's missing an antenna. But I'm not a G.I. Joe expert. We gotta get you back on our channel sometime. Yeah, hopefully sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for all your comments on everything. Yeah, thank you. I try to leave comments, which is good. For sure. So. Last summer we did a, a video with Alton and it was so fun. If you haven't seen that, look on our YouTube channel and you can see it. The big question of the day, did you find any Britneys? No. You haven't found any Britneys? No Britneys yet. No Britneys yet. You, uh, Instagram for your Barbies? Uh, Britney Spears Custom. Britney Spears Custom, but you have one for your podcast too. Uh, iconic Dog Pound. The Iconic Dog Pound. Um, so much fun! There, he's leaving now. <laughs> Um, but we did a really fun video with him uh, for Tonner Fest last summer and then he has his own YouTube channel and Instagram and all that stuff so that's really fun. It's really fun to connect and see all of our wonderful peeps, a lot of them that are here in Colorado. So we're getting down, it's a little bit over an hour left in the, in the show. It's still pretty well packed, but it's finally dying down, dying down a little bit. Usually when shows start to kind of lull, that's around like one o'clock, maybe two o'clock. It's three o'clock and it's finally, and it's dying down a little bit, but it's still really packed. Now I have a lot of special edition 90s, 2000s type um, 80s holiday Barbies that I am not, that are very beautiful, but I am not lugging them back to the doll shop. So I have marked their stickers free. Free, 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 free. And so when people walk by and they're looking at them, I'll, I just say, hey, look close at that tag because it's a really good deal. And then they'll be like, is it free? And I'm like, yeah, it's free. So we've sold a lot of dolls that way. All right, so we're near the end of the day. There's about 15 minutes left in the show. Uh, Christopher, did you have fun? <laughs> <laughs> you say that like uh, at gunpoint. Did you have fun? Did you yes, have fun at gunpoint? Yeah. <laughs> it was tell him, tell him it was good. <laughs> it was great. Um, it was a huge show, packed to the hilt, way more people and way more space than we had last year. Um, and the buzz was really excited. Yeah. Everybody was just like having a good time. Yeah. Um, it was a good turnout for yeah. sure. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, you sold some dolls. I did. And you bought a you bought a bunch of stuff. Yeah. You brought, I think you bought more than you sold. Probably. Yeah, you know. but that's all right. That's the fun of coming to a show. Oh, here's here. These are priced really, really good. They're priced free. <laughs> there's no strings attached. You can have them. They're free. You can take them all. Take one and one. Don't be shy. There you go. There you go. Someone else got them. Kelly, honestly, you can have them. They're free. They're free. You can put them on. And I think we have. This is free if you want a vintage uh, case. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's free. No way. We're not putting this back in our attic. Well, you Take it. Right oh, good. Enjoy. It's a good Enjoy. Day. And get some cookies, too. Yeah. Here, get, get, see if there's another. Is there any more bags? Oh, if you're on your way, here, just take them. Just go. She's saying, do you guys want a, do you want a bag? I don't know if that'll. It might help. Do they fit there? That might. This might be easier. Oh, this, okay. this, you can remember us. It's got our faces oh, on the front. <laughs> oh, how cute! They look so cute on there. 
right, so what I want to do next, and um, what I want to do, which is not, it's not a viable way to do stuff, but I think it would be so fun to just have a booth where everything's free. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be, because people come up in there, it's very unexpected. So that has been, I have had more fun giving away the stuff than trying to sell it, which yeah. we're going to put it back in our attic. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I think we got like two or three more free things and then we're done. So anyway, yeah. we hope you enjoyed this video. This was super fun. Thank you so much, Dana Kane, for all of your promotion and your wonderful staff for doing everything and making the show awesome. We, this is my third year in a row coming and um, we can't wait to come back next year. So it was really great. Christopher and Paul, say goodbye. We'll see you on the next one. All right, and thank you for your help today, guys. It was good. We're gonna pack out in about 15 minutes and then we'll see you on the next video. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye.